This is the TDD report supplemental and also this is a reply to the video that if you look right over from the other video or I'll give you a link to it down below. This is my friend Mike. He's doing a bug out bucket and he prepared his normal first aid kit. This is not your average first aid kit. This is a first aid kit for doing minor surgery and minor, dent minor dental work. So I'll tell you what I have in mind. I have a full dental first aid kit. You can get it any drugstore, I think any decent sized drugstore where you can do everything from pain relief to even putting in a minor filling if you absolutely have to. And I tell you what, with the, if the, like they say, if the shit hits the fan and there isn't medical treatment for quite a while or you can't get to a dentist, it can really put you out having dental problems. So if you can deal with those in the field until you can get to a regular dentist. Also for regular stitching up wounds and stuff like that, besides in your regular kit you want to have at least a couple of different types of antibiotics to clean out the wound, then you're going to have to have some way to sew it up. So make sure you have small, sharp, pointy sewing needles and some good strong thread too. The thread, you can sterilize that by putting it in boiling water. The needles themselves, you can flame sterilize or, or boiling ser sterilize them. Also, I would recommend to Mike, I noticed in his kit, I didn't see anywhere where he had tweezers. You can either use the regular kind of tweezers or you can use these tweezers that are a little bit more heavy duty with the handles involved. I would always recommend every first aid kit, even if it's not like this one set up like a minor surgery kit, but I would recommend even on your regular first aid kit with the bandages and stuff, you have a set of tweezers and a needle of some kind so that you can pick out splinters. Also maybe even a little type of scalpel or a little type of razor blade if possible. Got my regular scissors. I got the heavy duty cutting scissors for little tiny areas. These are similar to cuticle scissors. In fact I also have cuticle scissors besides two for doing little touch-ups if you tear a nail or something like that or tear your cuticle back that can be painful so to cut off little flaps of skin and stuff like that. This is just a little eyedropper too for dispensing kinds of you know medicines and antibiotic to a little area. If it's hard to get into an area or something like that, you could possibly use this for multiple uses, including um, dispensing the anti the liquid antibiotic to a, a little specific area to cut down on the infection. Then I just put bandages with this too because there's room in it, and why not you know put more of every anything you can. The more stuff you could like have also in your regular safety kit. Just like the more stuff you can bring over from your regular safety kit to this kit, the better. Because if they do get separated, sometimes you might have to make do with the kit to, to have it do the other stuff more than what you intended it to do. And then finally, I've actually used this for myself to remove sutures. And you can also use it with, especially like the little bent, bent nose pliers here, you could actually use it to do suturing of a wound. And you've got your various cutters too. You could do, you know, if something was sticking, if a person had became impaled by a small metal object and you weren't able to move, remove it on the scene, you could actually cut it away and that way you could bandage it up if it was rather long and then you can get to a place to do further treatment. So just a set of tools to do some, a little bit more than what you could normally do just by hand and a little bit more strength than tweezers. So these are the basic parts of my little minor surgery kit right now. Uh, about the only other thing I'm going to add to it is I'm going to also add some more liquid and uh, cream antibiotic ointment to this kit too so that it cross-references with my other regular safety kit.